some of you come here some of you say stuff to women without thinking some of you say stuff to women and you come back to complain that she's giving you an attitude or she's not taking your call or she's angry with you and you did not do anything like you boldly say i did nothing wrong but you have opened your mouth to say some things or to say something that you were not supposed to say in the first place see today i want to tell you five things you should never say to a woman except you want her to either block you or stop talking to you or give you serious attitude okay except you're trying to provoke this woman she could be your wife your girlfriend a girl you're trying to you're you know getting to know except you are really trying to piss her off then you're okay you're, it's okay for you to say these words but if you're not trying to piss her off please do not say these five sentences i'm going to be telling you a phrase okay so do not say these five things to a woman she's gonna get pissed okay so welcome welcome back to my channel it's a girl ij and this is real talk with ij you already know how we do it here so let me know let me not bore you with any of the introductions all right so if it's your first time here sit back check out my other videos this is the kind of content you like don't forget to finger the subscribe button and the like button and be part of this amazing community okay and also guys i want to introduce something to my platform and i really hope you guys can join me on this journey so we want to introduce a story time where you guys can send me some of your personal juicy story to my instagram dm okay you're going to be kept anonymous no name will be mentioned i will not reveal your secrets by calling your name but i will be sharing the story on here on youtube and people can engage so send me some of your spiciest moments the ones you want to share okay and also if you have any relationship issues and you you need advice you can share it also to my instagram dm and I will be making it at a story time here and people can engage in the comment session and give you advice and you can be in the comment session just, you know, reading and picking out what works for you. So guys, feel free to, my Instagram is going to be in my description box. So make sure you follow me and send me all of your messages, guys, please. We need to start this this week, okay? Like I really want to start sharing story time. So like, don't send me anything that's not related to love, sex and relationship, okay? Don't send me a story of, your, your 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 job you and your boss except it's your boss giving you a blow job i don't want to hear it <laughs> okay so that being said let us jump straight into this video and the i'm going to start with this one i'm going to start with this one because this one pisses me off directly okay and i know it, it does seem to every other woman now when you're having an argument or your wife is acting in a certain way or your girlfriend is disagreeing with you or you're not just giving you an attitude don't ever say this are you on your period Oh, it's fine. I know you're on your period. That's why you're behaving this way. Bro, don't you ever. Don't you ever ask a woman if she's on her period. If she's maybe she's she's pissed at you or she's complaining about something you did or she's not agreeing with you on something. And your only comeback is to tell, ask her, are you on your period? What do you mean? Yes, we know we have mood swings during our period. We have cramps. We have pains. Like our entire system is going through something. But you don't have to remind us because we are feeling it and you have no idea what it is you have no idea what it feels like to you know see it every month so don't ever tell a woman that it pisses women or i know except you're trying to piss her off except you're really trying to provoke that woman the one thing you should never tell a woman is or say to a woman is are you on your period especially when you're saying it with like, with like an attitude it's not because you care like you want to get her some pain relievers or you want to cuddle her or get her chocolates I don't know funny enough some of us like they chocolate when we're up here but you know what i'm saying yeah so <laughs> what i'm saying is don't say that okay that's one thing that really pisses women off just don't say it don't say it do not act as if you're on a period when we are pissed at you okay you better come up with something else and don't ask us that like that's one major thing you should never say to your woman except you're trying to drive her more crazy another thing you should never say to your woman especially also if she's like peace or you guys are having a disagreement and anyway i think this one is general okay so don't tell your woman relax or calm down it's not that serious see nobody has ever calmed down when they are told to calm down it's like you're pouring petrol on a fire so if your woman is mad at you if your woman is angry if your woman is pissed if your woman is disagreeing on you on something never say calm down because calm down sounds like shut up i don't i mean you are a guy i'm sure you also feel same because i know i've also had this discussion with some of my male friends and they've said it also like 
nobody ever really wants to hear calm down especially when they are not calm especially when they are losing it don't say calm down that's worse that's you telling what your woman is going to be hearing at that point is shut up bitch shut up you talk too much shut up you're disturbing my ear shut up shut up shut up that's all she's going to be hearing in her brain like you're trying to shut her up so it's only going to just make her worse so don't tell a woman to calm down when she's having an episode okay it's just going to drive her more crazy another thing you should never say to a woman which is number three is especially if it's a first date because see generally i don't even think a matured man should say this what do you bring to the table really i don't see i know you're trying to know if this girl has value and i've said it before there are so many ways you can ask this question without saying what do you bring to the table that question pieces women off and i know that i mean it might really come from a genuine place like you just really want to know what you know her values are but that's not the best way to put it do not put it that way a lot of women will just feel irritated like what do you mean are you a 50 50 man like you're not man enough a lot of women do not like that question okay except you're trying to provoke her and if this is a first date she, you are never going to have a second date with her a lot of women will not answer this question instead they will get pissed at you so never ask a woman what do you bring to the table if you want to know what a woman brings to the table ask her her values okay ask her her values ask her whether she see herself in the next 10 years okay ask her questions like that ask her about her career ask her about you know money management her priorities in life those are the easiest way to know that a woman has value and a woman has sense but asking that question what do you bring to the table is childish especially because social media has also you know painted this very negative you know stuff around it like nobody wants to hear that question because women think men are using it to insult them and you know men think also asking that question makes a woman i mean I don't know helps you embarrass a woman or something so don't ask okay except you're just trying to piss her off never say what do you bring to the table look for a better way to ask that question about her values rather than just asking her what do you bring to the table except you want to piss her off you should not be saying that to a woman number four brothers never ever ask a woman why are you still single I don't know do you guys really ask this question because when i was researching this i'm like this is really crazy like why are you asking a woman why are you still single like it does not make sense she's obviously single that's why she's on a date with you or that's why she's giving you the attention now i know sometimes you might not mean it in a disrespectful way you just want to know like you're so beautiful you're so gorgeous you're so confident you have money like why are you still single it's like you're trying to remind her that she's single and perhaps she has a bad attitude or perhaps there's something she's hiding from you and that's why other men don't want her like you're trying to remind her that men don't want her like nobody wants her like so you're asking her like i mean you're all this but why are you single is it's something that a lot of women don't want you to say to them like she knows she's single why are you still like why are you rubbing it to her face like it's none of your business why she's still single you're here to make sure that she doesn't stay single especially if you're on a date so don't ask a woman why are you single it's a wrong question it's wrong okay if she's there she's single you could ask her about her past relationship like what really went wrong you know what really went wrong in your past relationship not why are you still single like it comes like shady you know like if you really think you're all that and like why are you still single like i said except you want to piss her off you should not be asking a woman that question like why is she single is not don't ever say that to a woman don't say that to a woman lastly brothers listen if you say this to a woman you should unsubscribe from my from my channel because i don't expect this last one from you never tell a woman i have a big dick boy because that you're really a boy at this point never say that on my channel we're all about under promising and over delivering we don't over promise and under deliver okay so we don't talk too much when it comes to what we are packing so if you know what you have all you have to do is show it okay because some of you be packing something really big but you don't know how to use it and some of you also think you have something really big but that girl might have seen bigger so you're just only going to embarrass yourself at the end of the day so yes you might have something big but you don't know what the girl has seen so you telling her that might put you at a disadvantage because you might still have a big and on, on the deliver and she's going to be like so what were you talking about having a big d when you can't even use it or is this what you say you have <laughs> are you serious 
okay so don't ever say that plus it's also very childish just like how it's very childish to send a girl a nude picture of you except she requests for it don't ever do that there's the same thing as never saying it verbally Rather, when you get into the other room, you show her who the real Odogo is. You show her who is in charge. You make her cry. Happy cry, okay? Happy tears. You know what I mean? So don't ever just tell a girl, oh, I have a big D. Like, mm-mm, okay? Don't say that. It's really childish. And even when I see women, you know, like when I watch some of these dating shows, I see women like, mm, it doesn't look like he's going to have a big dick. Like, that's just really very stupid of them because a matured woman will not just look at a man and all she's thinking about is... He's not having a big deal. Like, is that all you want from a man? Okay, so it's the same thing. Don't just start bragging about it or saying it verbally like I have a big D. Don't do that. Okay, it's childish. <laughs> it's really childish. It's very, very childish. You should not be saying that to women. If she wants to see it, let her come inside and then you show her what you have. Because sometimes, like I always say, it's not always about the size. It's about how well you can use it. All right, so this is the end of the video for today. You guys let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. And also guys, please do not forget, engage with me on Instagram. Send me those spicy videos. No, not videos. Send me those spicy stories, okay? I will read them. I'll keep you anonymous. We'll come here. We'll discuss it, okay? We'll discuss it in depth. If it's a problem and you need a solution in your relationship slash sex life, we will come here. I will throw out the question and we will all talk about it in the comment section to help you get a solution. And if it's just a spicy story that you want to share with the community, please do well to send me that story. I really want to read it out loud to everybody so we can laugh and, you know, you know think about how naughty you are all right so don't forget to subscribe okay before you leave and i will see you in my next video keep living life keeping champs and bye for now Mwah.